Kinson must beat Peninsula tonight. If uh, that doesn't happen, we're looking at Jay Leach batting, one ball, no strikes. That is, if the Pilots win the second half, they've also won the first half, so there's no semifinal round of the playoffs again this year. And Lynchburg and Hampton would go at each other in the best of five game series, opening in Hampton on Wednesday. Games one and two would be played down at Hampton. Those would be the last Carolina League games there, it appears. The Pilots are headed for Wilmington, Delaware for next season. Lynchburg at the Peninsula Pilots in Hampton on Wednesday and Thursday. And then they would go to Lynchburg for game three on Friday, and if necessary, games four and five, Saturday and Sunday, best of five game series. So the Labor Day weekend will be the conclusion, looks like, if it goes five games for sure. We all remember two years ago when the Northern Division got games three, four, and five of the final series, don't we? Sure remember game five, <laughs> Timmy Holland. Coming through with a big hit as the Keys trailing 5 nothing in Game 5, one 7 five, One think. of the most exciting games that I've got to make the home run call on as a play-by-play -play announcer back in 1990. That was one of the most exciting what calls that we ever had. Did Holland home run finalize the score? Well, we got something going on right, right here. Ken Dominguez, the acting manager, pushed away now by the bigger Mike Hart, who is the manager. This argument on Jalal Leach. The ball went off the glove of Greg Zahn. The count is registered as three balls and one strike. And Leach is steaming. I don't know whether he called a foul. Hart is hollering at Miguez and drawing back a bit. Well, let's see if we can run the tape back. Maybe pick up what happened. We were talking. To the you told me Mike Hart was just going to be, what, what was your word? Kick back. He's going to be back. kicked back, laid back. He's not laid back right now. He's <laughs> hanging around is how they had him. Right? He's hanging around Miguez right now. Back in 1988, as we said earlier, Hart managed Hager's We're going to see a replay of what happened, Ron. Let's see. He just thrown out. Guys going to do his own Cleveland first base and kick their all over home plate. Back to the live action right now. Miguel just walks away. He's walking down the right field line. Mike Hart's having his fun. That's, that's a little silly, isn't it? Especially when it's the game 139 of the season and it really doesn't. Uh, have a whole lot to do with what's going to happen the rest of the time around here. Narrating a uh, piece of uh, tape for CBS one time, Hubie Brown was so irate after being thrown out of the game. You could, in a long shot, longer than that, you could see the veins sticking out of his neck. <laughs> and the, the audio I put with it is, smile, Hubie, it's only a game. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it might say that now. Mighty hard. They say 80 million people, China don't even really care, right? So, has Leach been thrown out for the argument? Of no, the I don't think Leach is gone, but I know Mike Hart has. Well, the ball went off his on club back to the screen. And are they so vehement they should be ball four that's worth all this? I'm not really sure what they're hollering about, and uh, I think we're going to be able to run the replay, but uh, we're going to watch this uh, live action. We don't want to miss anything. He was called a foul, and it didn't hit his bat. It just hit on glove. That's the best thing I can get. So they argue he should be on first base. Right now, Mike Hart's just telling them again, he says, well, this will be in my report, and I'll tell them how bad you are. And McGee says, McGee says, well, you do whatever you have to, Mike, but I'll be back next year, and, I, and I've got a report to make, too. Yeah. Well, McGee's walked away, <laughs> look at this. This looks like, uh, what's his, the cartoon? Al Shack, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. baseball no. shadow walking. <laughs> wow. Those little kids in our audience can read lips. <laughs> huh. I showed his head down. Well, Mike, right now, all you're doing, buddy, is making a jerk out of yourself. Fans get a kick out of him for a while. <laughs> well, I'll put down. He's going to really hear it as he goes back to the dugout over there. Now he's going to put a helmet down. Look at him some more. Yeah, this will be a nice find for, uh, for Mike Hart. President of Lake Johns Hopkins, he'll uh, get this tape and pretty cable meeting, and uh, each helmet will cost him another 50 or 100 or whatever. Now here comes the trash can out. Now he's going to have to be a hole. Now he's going to be in trouble. Dave Holmes has got to go out and clean that up. And now the fans are going to give it to him as he walks up that long room. Got a little security. 